And what he wanted to know was... There we go. Oh, oh it's live. Mr. It's live. Sorry. Tell me after. It's taking me a while to get it to go live. I'm still kind of figuring stuff out. I will result. show the paintings. Hold on. The results of the paintings. Got it. Fix the camera. I may have to move the camera. That way people can actually see us at least for a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. Hey, guys. All right. So we are back with our second chill stream. It's a little bit later than we normally would do because we had a family emergency this weekend and that's kind of made things a little bit more challenging oh okay yeah oh, that kind of looks that's good huh? look at that yeah so these are the marble marble pores using acrylic from that five kit that we did last week the only problem are the white spots. Oh no, the only problem is the grease slick on this one. So the white spots must be come oil. from the oil, yeah. And, oh, walking in front of the camera. And it also kind of um, warps. Warps. Now this one didn't have as many. But it kind of warps. Yeah, warps the, the canvas. The canvas just a little bit. So if you could... But you know what? If you put this in a frame, you could also bend it that, back. That is pretty, though. I mean, it came out really nice. This one, is, yeah, got, that's the yeah, one we know, did with the apple barrel minute, paint. Is it greasy? Minute. Oh, it is. It is greasy. That's all that sil yeah, silicone you'd oil. To, you'd have to dab this because it all rose to the top. And it's hiding all the glitter. So, something I did is I bought. Um, an additive that you add to acrylic paint to make it more flowy. That's coming in from Walmart. It hasn't pretty come in yet. With the waves and the... This is the one that had the lines in it. Though. Yeah, that's the... that's the. We were cleaning up and we dumped paint into the cup. Remember? Yeah. I mean, that is like a legit and then technique. And poured it, it kind of made like yeah. layers. It's a legit technique that the kit did not introduce. Yeah, but that's that's in this one here because you can see. Yeah. The like waves and the lines around yeah. it. This one kind of too, but this is that, the that one, one reminds me of a peacock. Yeah, it does, especially with these. Yeah, I think and, it's the. And this is not greasy. Not at as all, bad so as evidently that's the one. This one. one. Most of the oil. The in problem it. child. This looks good too. This is an ocean. Looks like an ocean. Yeah. And it's dried very well. It took forever. Um, it took two days. And mm -hmm. I had them out on the dining room table with newspaper down. But there's some, ir you can see some iridescence right there. A huh? little bit of silvery or pro pearlescent. Yeah. And for a child, I mean, these would make really good presents, especially if they bought a cheap frame. That's true, yeah. And they framed it. Yeah. And uh, you wouldn't even have to have glass on top. It just looks very nice. I, I wonder how this would look on that paper. That's so nice paper the thing about, about the paper, and um, I have a, this is for another day when both of us have more uh -huh. brain capacity also. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> brain capacity. Yeah, I just, I'm, I know, shot. I'm shot. I have too. a water marbling kit, mm. so I need to get all the pieces together for that before yeah. we do this one. But I have, these are the dyes, and uh -huh. you, like, put them on top of the water. So they yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I was talking about with the Easter eggs. Yeah. And you dip them in, and it, and it coats whatever it is you pull, you pull on top. With that one, you put the paper on. On top of the water, yeah. And that's how people will do, um, like, nails yeah. and stuff. And so, you have to have a place to hang that and dry it. After. Yep. Maybe the back porch. Okay, so that is the result of our effort from yeah, last week. Yeah, that's last now, week's. For a five dollar kit plus another three fifty for extra canvases. 
Well, also, you also you had also have some, to think about all the supplies we you, had to bring. Yeah, you also had some extra things that threw, you threw in, too. Well, no, like there were things we I needed, think. like the cups. Um, look at this, though. What is yeah. that? Uh, that is the silver ink, and that's just how it dried. Huh. Kind of weird. Yeah. Very nice, though. I think I think, I think it was worth it. That was very doable, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, we, we were certainly not experts on it. Ooh, I mean, it made a mess, but I think anybody who has a kitchen with linoleum... But we can find we can find the mess. Yeah. We're able to confine the mess. It just, it's it's not one of those things that it just grew and grew and grew and just... Yeah, broke. it took over the table and yeah. stayed on the table. So, today, we're going to be doing mini erasers. This is a klutz kit. I have done many klutz kits as a girl. I really like the klutz kits, so it'll be interesting to see if they're still good. For those bills, it was not five dollars. I got this through Walmart, and it was like thirteen. Yeah, they, so it was not more expensive. It was more but expensive. For those people who are not familiar with klutz kits, so klutz kits they come with supposedly all the materials that you need. We'll be the judge of that. And then what's neat about klutz kits. And they're, they're manufactured by Scholastic now. Oh, okay. And I would love to do a making comics kit with Klutz. Like, I need to, like, pitch that to them. Yeah, That's, like, one of my that. dreams, because then I can include all the supplies mm -hmm. you need. Uh, but they usually come with, like, an instruction or an idea booklet. So you can do it over and over again. Yeah. And, and you, even when you run you, out of supplies... And they also show you how to make the thing. So the thing about this kit is all these cutie little things that you see, this book's going to show you how to make them. So this is great for people who are artsy but don't have a lot of faith in themselves mm -hmm. as artists because it walks you through. And some of these are so cute. I mean, I'm going to move the camera in a second. But you got tennis shoes and sushi. you got a dog head. you got uh, roller this is, skates. This is obviously something that's yeah, quite... Yeah, sushi. Quite detailed yeah you know. yeah but they also have ones what about the things that are kind of simple yeah like the us? eyeball the egg or you the, have look the at the faces. little the, yeah look at the little bowling pins and the bowling ball uh-huh that's very cute uh-huh or the spaceship looks doable yeah the crayons because mm -hmm. you just yeah roll them basically macarons are pretty pretty oh, simple when the, you look at the them rainbow, the rainbow that's just even the little gnomes mm -hmm. are pretty simple. So we're probably not going to make, I cannot see us making all of these today, but we might make a few of them. Mm -hmm. And um, it's been like 20 years since I've done a klutz kit, so I'm hoping they're still as good as I remember them being. Okay, but this is also going to, not just molding the clay, but it's also going to require baking, right? I think so. so it does is... say on the front that it's magical, moldable, bakeable eraser clay. I don't know if they expect you to bake every single one or if you're baking specific designs so that they're more rigid or you bake it till it dries faster, but we're going to figure that out with this kit. But it's definitely something that needs to be done with an adult. With an adult, yes. An adult supervision. Yes. They can do the baking. For the baking part. The young ones can do the molding and the yeah. adult can do the baking. And, yep, make, bake, erase. And this sells for $21.99 in the U.S., although I'm pretty sure I did not pay $21.99. Mm. But you got it at Walmart, so yeah. you got it at Walmart.com, even. Because oh. I haven't seen, I, when we go to Walmart, I look at look for kits. And one of the things that's really disappointing to me is that kits all seem to be aimed for little kids. Mm -hmm. Like, even at Michael's, and there are a lot of adults who want to get into a mm -hmm. craft or mm -hmm. they want to learn how to do something. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a real hole in the market right now. I'm sure Etsy is full of DIY kits, but we're not at that level. No, we're no. at Walmart level. Well, we're at elementary level. Yeah. So this is what we're doing today. And I have the chat up over here on my laptop so I can see what you guys are saying. So Let's take a look. Actually, let me move the camera so they can see it from our angle, and that way we can look mm -hmm. at we'll get the kit together. Yeah. And just a reminder, these streams are meant to be just more laid back and more fun. It's not really supposed to be like a workshop. It's just a chance to play around with something artsy 
that isn't like super complicated and just kind of chill out. Well, especially with this being the Christmas season mm -hmm. and it's possible that kids are going to be getting things, things like That's this. That's true. So, you know, parents immediately want to go, uh, uh, I'm going to have to ask your dad about that yeah. or your aunt or your brother or yeah. sister. So this is to take some of that mystery and, yeah. and to see if it's fear also of difficulty. Worth, yeah. worth the money. Because I've gotten a lot of kits that were not very good, mostly as an adult, reviewing kits. <laughs> okay, so that's a what? So this is an X-Acto blade mm -hmm. to open our kit. And there's one at the top. So you definitely want one that's sealed because it yeah, should have it should all have the all pieces. the pieces. Is there a page in the book that says what you're being? There is, yeah. And they also have advice for adult supervision, safety guidelines, baking guidelines. Well, that's good. So we shouldn't bake any hotter than 260. So remember that mm, yeah. when it comes baking time. Do not exceed a baking time of 30 minutes. So don't forget your baking needs. Well, that might Do not use a that. microwave oven. Use a domestic oven thermometer. I do have an oven thermometer, but I think a lot of people don't. So that is something... This product contains no gluten, wheat, dairy, or soy, which is important because when you're handling things, you do absorb them. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm allergic to latex and even using masking fluid. Okay, yes. What, what you get. get. And four. these are the different designs you can do. Uh -huh. And they do look like Play-Doh. They look like Fimo clay as well. All right, so you're going to get eight blocks of clay that turn into real erasers when you mold and bake them. We get a clay shaping tool that has a spatula and a pointer. We get some punch and fold paper pieces because, like, they have like pizzas and macarons. We have a pencil, <laughs> which is good because I didn't go out and buy more pencils. Yeah. Uh, stuff to remember unbaked clay contains oil that can cause stains. Protect your furniture and don't leave unbaked clay sitting on nice things. So, I'm going to have to get some newspaper in a minute. Mm -hmm. Wrap your leftover clay in plastic wrap and store it in a resealable bag or in an airtight container. If your clay is too stiff or crumbly, warm it up by rolling and squishing it in your hands. Cool down any extra sticky eraser clay by putting it in the fridge for a little bit. Bright colors can stain things, even other clay. Wash your hands when you switch colors or finish crafting to prevent staining. Eraser clay may break down certain types of plastic. Do not store erasers or clay with plastic items. We're also going to need wax paper or scrap uh, paper, a cookie sheet lined with aluminum foil, a fine tip permanent marker for drawing faces. Adult assistant with access to an oven or toaster oven. Okay, so that pan with the foil is like... The one I ruined? The one I ruined but last you, week? You saved the pan though, right? Of course, because I figured I might Need it again. ruin more, more pans. Okay, okay. so I'm going to go get some of the things they asked okay, for. Okay, so you need If you wanted to show them... Show them what? The next few pages. Pan of foil. I don't eat. Well, this book also gives us some information on Play Basics. Which is good, because I'm not really a play person. I don't know if this is, is, is showing it really well. We may have to, well, your figure's in front of it, but we I'm may sorry. have to tilt this angle up. the book a little bit. Yeah, no, we can tilt that up. So to tilt it up, you pinch that uh -huh. and you just oh, okay. lift it. So it's pretty easy. Okay. I got the, the thing at five below. Yeah. You know where all good things come from. Play basics and then toppers and wraps and then baking instructions and then repairs and paper, paper crafts. So uh, I'm hoping this is going to cover everything that we need to know. Yeah, because I don't think either of us. Maybe I should have done this one with Devin, my younger brother, because he's, he's the one he's who the one that likes to mold things. Stuff. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, because this one with pancakes and hot chocolate. How cute. Oh, it's so cute. I think you use the pencil to get the index yeah. on some of these. Well, some of these, I mean, there's a lot of people that just collect the erasers. erasers. They don't actually use them. Didn't you collect them at one time? I did, yeah. From San Rio, you know, five years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the, the parent trap. Uh -huh.
Yeah. Do you have wax paper? Yeah. Oh, there's a little yeah. cut right. If you're going to be doing crafty stuff, it helps to either have a, I guess I could have put that um, tablecloth down, but I'm kind of saving that for like the really messy stuff. Yeah. So maybe when we do the wax marbling, no, the water marbling. Uh-huh. I have some other kits that are more for adults coming in too, like I have a wood burning kit. I think kit. we need to invest in oil cloth. Yeah. Oil cloth. You know what oil cloth yeah. is. Yeah. Lift the, um, if you could lift the it's camera in the book. Like um, a tablecloth. I mean, you could get that almost anywhere. You probably get it at, at Walmart in the fabric section. I know for sure you can get it at Joanne's. Um, Hobby Lobby and places like go. that. Okay. Now we've got our wax paper down. And we have our baking sheet from last week mm -hmm. the ruined baking sheet lined but that's okay it's good for crafts. aluminum foil so what else do we need um we also needed a cookie sheet felt fine tip permanent marker mm. for drawing faces you have a um, i can i might but i don't remember let me go ask the other adult <laughs> And here is Boy, who's come to see what all the excitement is about. Hey, Boy. Isn't he a fine-looking gentleman? No, he wasn't whining because he's not a whiner. No. Well, unless he's hungry. That's just so. how he sounds. He hasn't been whining lately, though. He's been fairly this quiet. Boy? Yeah. This good boy? His, somebody said they heard him, a cat whining. Oh, that's just him. But he wasn't whining. He sound, I know, but he sounds whiny. But he, he wasn't making any People noise. People always ask me, like, well, is your cat upset? Because he talks a lot. Like, I know, but talk he, to him and he'll talk I'm telling you, he was Hi, taking Bob. a bath just now. Hi, Bobby. Now that's his voice. Meh. Meh. Rebo. He did go. Okay. Just, just a little whiny. Okay, so... I have two microns and a felt tip sharpie, which is definitely a sharpie. Permanent, well, permanent to some degree. And what else? Okay, then they give us the instructions on clay basics. So if you've never worked with clay in any shape or form, even as a child, this should For give some you some. For some of us, it's been a few years. This should give us some Clay background. was a budget that some of our schools didn't have. I mean, at home with your book. Oh, that's right. The parents that made the children paint in the bathtub. I guess clay okay, wouldn't have been on there. That. Things to do. We had lots of clay. Play Doh mostly. I also liked clay. And you liked Fimo, didn't you? No. You didn't like using No, Fimo because clay? when I was growing up, it, the colors were white and that was it. You can get more colors, and I'm oh, sure yeah. there are more colors then, but Walmart sold yeah, white. they've got all kinds of stuff in that category now, because people yeah. do a lot with that. Yeah. And then shaping, how to make cubes, how to make triangles. Oh my gosh, look at the little nail polishes. Where? Ooh, they're so cute. Down at the bottom? Oh, the little balls? Yeah, yeah, they're so cute. I don't know. There they are. Man, whoever did the designs for these did some pretty cute stuff. Mm -hmm. The little macarons. And then they also show you how to mix colors to get pastels. Or how to get... Yeah. We may have to... Ref we right. may be flipping through this book a lot. Yeah, well, that's okay, but I don't know. You can even make key rings, although I don't know how... How to make repairs. Like if you make something and a piece falls off after you baked it. Oh, do they include glue? Mm. A dab of glue to hold it in place That's if you've already a, baked it. Yes. And then something about it, did your eraser melt? Oh, and we're supposed to preheat the oven. I'll go do that right now. To 260. 260. Right. Thank you. Would you Just, like a glass of water or something? Uh, I'm good. And then some of the races also have matching paper Isn't designs. baking sheet one time use? No. Um, Here in the U.S., they sell... 
steel and aluminum baking sheets that you can use over and over and over again. Yeah, they did have the 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 like the the heavy the, foil yeah, kind. Yeah, those the also tree. exist. Yeah, but we also have reusable ones. Ah, I didn't want to turn on the sound. Oh, and you know we had all we had all these rings. Remember to make like each. I change. still do. They're just you do. Oh, they're just. But packed you, away. You don't have the little screw thingy bobs with the with the little. No, I don't have little eyelet screws. But and you could do all kinds of different stuff. Eraser rings and an eraser bracelet. So while it's still not baked, you can use like a needle mm -hmm. and, and go thread through it. it. Yeah, you can make beads with okay, it. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at what actually comes in the kit. And I think this. You could cut that off maybe. I don't know. Sometimes with Klutz kits, you can, um, they have like, spir I'm disappointed actually. Usually Klutz kits have the spiral binding. Yeah. So well, you can leave it open. This saves money probably. Hmm. Oh, a lot of excessive packaging. Yeah, not necessarily. Well, okay. Here's your paper cutout things. Yep. Punch out things. Yep. And then there's our pencil, which is a oh, cheap this, pencil. I thought this was going to be bigger. bigger than that. It's like the ice cream spatula. Yeah, like the sample ice cream spatula you get at Bass and Robin. Yeah. Oh, should have saved oh, that. I'm very disappointed in this. I thought they were going to be big. big sticks. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Actually, that's a good point. So for the price, you don't uh, really get a lot of know. stuff. And there's your directions. On that note. I mean, they're they're thick, they're, but they're not very. But they're thin. not very long. And warm up the clay in your hands and knead well before using. Okay, so these directions pretty much go with the directions that you got in the book. So I would say. These clay sticks are about two inches long. They're about a half inch square on each side. And then there's eight colors. So what I would do is if I was going to mix colors, I would take off a piece, cut mm -hmm. off a piece. Not necessarily use the whole stick, but use a piece and save the rest. This one is your water. And I need water. water. Oh, okay. I mean, I get thirsty talking. And there's the spatula. Really, the true test is going to be how all these things erase. And there's a pencil. Oh, with their logo on it. A yeah, little yeah, smiley yeah. face. And no eraser. Yeah. Well, you're making an eraser. Yes, I know. All right. I'm going to move the camera. So that hopefully we can get a better view of what's going on. There we go. And using wax paper makes it easier to pull this stuff up. Yeah. If we flatten it. Yeah. You don't want anything that's porous because... Yeah it's more likely to stick. And the paper cutouts are printed both sides. on both, both sides. Nice. The little boxes that you saw in the book are the little house. So I little think pizza box for this, the best there. way for us to do this is to pick some designs we want to do. We're going to start out simple. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Okay, do you have, uh, let's see, oh, here it is, okay. Do you have a box to put this in after? Something to save it in? Because you know we probably I was going to wrap use... them in um, plastic wrap. We're not going to use And then maybe the put clay. them back in the book. I got a smell. Okay, this this probably has a little plasticine in it, huh? Probably. It doesn't smell like clay. It feels like clay. Uh, a little bit harder to squish than clay. Okay, did you find something? I I think like 
<laughs> what does it require? No special modeling skill. This, <laughs> so the pen grips. Well, we could try doing the bowling ball, bowling, pins bowling pins, and, and bowling ball. maybe do one of the marble yeah, I bowling balls. I can see where that, that permanent marker is going to really come in handy yeah. making those faces. Where did they have the marble? Look at the bacon! Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Where is the marble bowling ball? There's one. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, because that one there is solid, but you can you can mix it so, up and marble it. One of my complaints is that the book doesn't, doesn't stay, stay open. open. And do you know, it's a complaint because Klutz books used to have spiral Spires, binding. Yeah. yeah, I do have a clip. I'll be right and back. We could clip it to the cover yeah. right here. I mean, it's not like a huge complaint, but when your hands are dirty, it's important. Well, yeah, it's kind of hard to model and hold the book open at the same time, yeah. too. So the original picture shows uh, six bowling pins. Now, if we do this real well, I might get the needle felting kit that I saw on Amazon. So whether or not you do the needle felting kit is dependent well, on if you do this well. Because it is a type of sculpting. But I'm it's not, not like this. No. Right here. Yeah, there you go. Closed uh, paper clips would also work for this. Or a closed pan. Uh, Calvin says he hopes the clay is wrapped individually, otherwise no. there will be color contamination. No. No, but I'm mm, there is a, a there is right some there. right there. Yeah, it's a good point. Mm, a little a bit. A little bitty bit on the red, but not super noticeable. This not isn't as soft a and little wet as the clay. Black. No, it's more like to have color contamination. Maybe if it was sitting on a shelf for like mm -hmm. four years or I something. Can see that, yeah, or in a hot. Yeah, then it might bleed into it. But um, this is, I think, this would make a perfect eraser right here if we bake. Chickening it. out. <laughs> I'm not a scholar. Howard. Neither am I. Yeah, but you took okay. all these art classes. None so. of them. None, none of them were sculpture. Just <laughs> spoiler. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the white clay. You really don't get a lot. No. I'm gonna cut the white clay into three pieces, so we can make our three bowling pins, and then I'm it's, gonna. Hey, it's six. Look. Oh yeah, right. You are not making six <laughs> bowling pins out of this. I don't care. That ain't happening. I'm trying to get it kind of even, and I'm yeah. not succeeding. So all bowling pins are going to look the same, huh? <laughs> not with me in charge. Okay. All right. So we've got three equal Now, in the book, of white. it does show yeah, you, that so, you have a big ball right. for the base. And then a smaller A smaller ball. one for the top. And then a little bitty one for the stripe yeah. that you're going to... And I'm using this, the ice cream scoop to do my cutting because it can cut much more precisely than mm -hmm. I can tear. And it's not bad, actually, for cutting. I know you weren't impressed. And I'm... Oh, you can hardly hold it in your hand no, because... It's so tiny. I mean, for a child, that might be sufficient. I don't know. The adult. thing about kids is that a lot of them don't really have the fine motor skills for, like, super little fiddly things. I so know. something as little as this might actually be uncomfortable. Yeah, well, for sure it is with adults. Okay, so you roll like the big ones, and I'll roll. Okay, I can do big. The small. My, I've got a little arthritis, so that comes up on the channel a lot too because I yeah. have it as well, and that's something I'm okay. always looking at. Okay, this is going to take a lot of rolling. A lot of rolling. Well, like maybe warm it up in your hands a little. Because, or even yeah. <laughs> rolling it on the table. I mean, this is not like doing clay when I was little. It's actually not as bad as the Fimo we did. One, Sculpey. That's Sculpey. what I'm thinking of. Sculpey. We did it one time in Girl Scouts. And, oh, you're popular. Mm. You might want to, if it's private information, you might want to yeah. step out. Hello. Well, I'll tell you something, guys. Your hands, and I've washed my hands like four times since I got home. Your hands had better be pristine because this white is going to pick up any not clean hand handiness. So that's something to keep. See, this on my nails, that's from alcohol markers. But I guess the, the Sculpey might be picking that up. Sculpey. Eraser clay. 
And I'm going to link when this, when this stream is over, I will link where you can order more eraser clay, like eraser clay refills. Because this eraser clay is not a lot of eraser clay. Okay. So well, something I noticed the bone, is well. that if your hands are not clean enough, it gets dirty. And I wash, I wash my hands when you got but here. But it will pick up anything, anything. that's on the hands. Yeah, I, I was messing with alcohol. I inks. see that, but you still got some. Stuff yeah, on and, but that because it's alcohol inks. But see, so, already this is looking kind of dingy. This is more like a starter kit. Oh, definitely. <laughs> the thing is, this is in a way this is neat because it's got a lot of ideas, but they don't really give you. Enough a lot clay of clay to get crazy right to to make and the other thing this is a line on my end is they show the pictures have all these cute things yeah. and you want to make I all do those that. things I do it. yeah you can maybe make the bowling set or, and something else yeah well if you if you real another thing is since this clay does pick up any colors any yeah. dirt on your hands you're probably going to want to mix your whites first then mix your color and then go wash your hands. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Well, for a child, all that hand washing is going to be an issue. Well, you know, I don't know. I was kind of a meticulous kid about this kind of stuff. That's so why you, I would that's have That's why you it. have ink around your nails, huh? Because <laughs> you're meticulous. The thing about that, that ink is it would take um, rubbing alcohol. To, it would take me soaking But I know, but it doesn't alcohol. bother you so much. No, it'll, my hands are already too dry. So it would like further Suck ruin the my oils hands. out. Yeah. If it was anything else, if I could like remove it using like an oil oh, or something. Oh, it says roll the base. It shows balls, but this I know. Says and then we have to roll oval. the top into a cone. Right. So do the balls first, and then we'll do the. Oh, I'm gonna... My balls are not, not very round. I am going to do some oval They're here very on this one before I set it unround. aside. Then the thing is. You've got clay, people who do like clay food, like miniature yeah. clay food, and it's so cute and it's so perfect. But they're artists. I, what? <laughs> Not no, that kind. No, they're sculpture I know, artists. I know. This, this is the artist. Look, let me also be honest. I didn't think I was going to come into this and like make something amazing. All right. I know my limitations. Sculpture has never been my strong point. Um, but I think the person they hired to do all of the illustra is illustrations is one of those artists, which yeah. good for them. Well, I mean, why else would they hire you unless you got some talent? Oh, I don't know. Those how to make manga kits. They sure don't hire oh, comic man. artists. I don't know what they're hiring for, but it ain't comics. Oh, I hear. I know. One of the neighbor's doggos is <laughs> in the background. She hears us talking inside and she You think? Yeah. It, yeah, it'll be like at three in the morning oh, sometimes. Okay. And I'm like, Gracie, go home. <laughs> Go home. Does she not go in? Why there are you something? out? I think she might sneak out. I don't know how. She gonna unlock think... the door? I don't know. Good dog. No, bad <laughs> dog. dog. No, smart dog. Yes, but no puppy. Maybe they have a door. Maybe. Maybe. That's kind of cute with the heart and the little wings on the side. I, I'm hearing that's kind of doable. But here's the complaint about that: half your white. It's gonna get mixed with that red, and and the other half is gonna make the wings. If yeah, you it is very over. cute. But look how dirty. I know. Look how dirty. I know. And my hands were clean, and they bleh. and, and I covered rolling. the table. And before she got here, before we started streaming, I wiped the table down with Dawn to remove anything yeah. from like oils. food oils or anything yeah. like that. Well, you wouldn't want this on the wood anyway. No, but I'm saying like, I I tried to set us up for success. That's like one of my big pet peeves is when people set you up for failure. Yeah. Um, so whenever we do these streams, it is always my goal that we succeed. I don't want to make these kids look bad. I mean, I paid money for this. Food sculpture is, is an industry. They make food display. I'm not talking about the Japanese food sculptures. I mean, I know what you're talking about. We're talking about the, the, the clay teeny, sculptures tiny clay that look like sculptures. food. Yeah. And the That's problem someone also who's mostly is that doing by hand. this makes like little cracks. Yeah. It may like, not be like this. See, a crack. Warm enough. Okay. I don't know. Um, I'm doing my best here. I know. I'm not blaming you. Doing my best. Okay. I'm going to cut the blue into. Part of three. it is that it's feeling sticky on my hands. Yeah. Thin stripes. Probably... Oh, and you're going to want to clean your little spatula off, too. Because it's going to get white. It's already got blue on it. Yeah. I wonder what would clean that off. Like a baby wipe? Maybe some alcohol? Well, I do. <laughs> as a. As a, as a Copic marker artist, I've got a lot of that. 
No joke. I'll go get some. Why not? I would just be afraid of it deteriorating the clay. Well, we don't have to worry about that. Because rubbing it in my hands is kind of deteriorating the clay. But this is the kind of this is evidently the kind of clay you have to use For to make bakeable erasers. I have no idea if they're going to gonna erase either. I have heard other people say that these kind of eraser kits don't erase well. I mean, to be fair, do you really expect it to erase super well? I don't know. The, the, there's a difference between it can erase graphite off a of scantron, which is acceptable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like. Something an artist would well, say. Aren't there erasers that you, that artists use that like you uh, can squish them and stuff like yeah, that? You can mold them. Yeah, like actually, I have. So I'm using rubbing alcohol to just remove. And it just took that it blue. Off. Mostly, yeah. I mean, it took a little scrubbing, yeah, but good idea, Mom. Yeah, that's right. That means rubbing alcohol will probably eat this alive. A gum eraser. I got one. Hang on. Yeah. Yes, yeah, because I'm getting this on my hands, and. That's probably causing it to break because I see some places where it's splitting. Uh, I don't think this is a gum eraser. This is a gum eraser. Okay, so this is what she's talking about. I don't want to handle it because I've got this other stuff yeah. on my hand, but I'll remind me and I'll show them. Yeah, you see, look, see, it's sticking on my hand. Oh, why? Uh, why? I guess my hands are kind of dry, baby. What? I don't know. I've washed them several Plus. times. I don't play with white Play-Doh for the same reason white pickup contamination too easily. Yup. Yeah, and then it looks gross. I wonder how those that might be kind of a lot. Food artist. Well, I've never done it before, so but I don't know. People who do this, and I've seen this on TV. I've seen. I mean, on YouTube, see yeah. people make things out of this stuff. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They do. And do we? They no. jump in with both <laughs> feet, and they know how to manipulate it, and they know how. They have all the tools. Look at how much is cracking. I know. I don't know what we're doing wrong because I, I this think is my hands are too us. dry. Oh well, let me do the the snake. Look, see, it's getting worse. I'm mashing, and it's like yeah. really, really breaking up. Words. I challenge a miniature clay artist to use this stuff this if y'all haven't and make do these. I bet y'all would do so good. Yeah, because the more the softer it gets, and the more I squish it, the more it cracks. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be one bowling pin short. <laughs> we used all our white clay. I mean, I'm, I, I'm hoping to get it back together again. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I made them too big. I don't know. Look, there's the bowling. There's the... The oval. <laughs> Thanks. What? I don't know. Okay. The um, ovals. I'll try. I'll try. Oof. I know. <laughs> I mean, this one almost looks good, but I'm still getting oh. this stuff all in my hands. Oh, oh, they... <laughs> Oh. They do not want to stick together. I don't know what, let me move the camera. I don't know what would help with that because the instructions haven't told us anything. Klutz, you used to make such good books. What did, are we just stupid? I mean, that could be, that could be. Cause like, okay, so in the front of the book, they said just push them together and they'll stick. <laughs> But then you gotta smooth them against oh. each other, or you don't have to worry about that because you're gonna cover. I don't cover. know. You're supposed to cover the join, but I'm telling you. You want me to roll this out? They don't out? even want to stick. Yeah, they don't even want to stick. I mean, you, you washed your hands. I first. did. Yeah. Oh, I need to wash my hands. Okay. Suck all the oils out of my. So that noise you guys hear in the bathroom, a bathroom background, is Joseph making red beans and rice for dinner. Is he finished with this? What? I don't know. If this is up here and I want to bring it. Probably, but ask him. Hey, Joseph. Are you finished with your Kindle? Yeah, I it. Um, okay, I so now I got the snake, and I'm going to try to do the little stripe around the bowling pin. Okay, that's what I tried to do. Okay, so I did. 
I did do today. a little bowling pin collar. Does it look good? No. Hey, look, we are definitely amateurs. That's right. <coughs> I need to go wash my hands. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm going to try to assemble. The bowling pins look so easy, y'all. Okay, mushed. My second kind of dirty rolling pin. Oh, those don't look like rolling pins. <sighs> okay. Now the blue collar on the second. Okay. Now, a friend of mine in college used to do Sculpey, ooh, Sculpey stuff, but she did it just for funsies, like, not to sell. Okay, last one. That one kind of smushes together. I feel like... There must be like a like you could wet it or use rubbing alcohol or something to get good adhesion. It doesn't want to stand up. Do you use some special kind of painter soap? No. Uh, why? Well, I use brush soap. No, I'm talking about like to wash your hands. No, I just use hand soap. And they're nice and dry. Okay, I've got two. Oh. And I'm working on the third. Don't look like bowling pins. They do kind of look like scarves. Mm. They don't look, they look like, like bowling. What? Calvin said they look like scarves. They do. They do. Look at this. Look how ambitious. A whole set of six. That's what I said. There were six. Oh, it's falling apart. I know. This one is too. Is it because it's cold? I don't know. No, it's not that cold in here. No, it's not. But outside? It's supposed to you're supposed to get your hand you know, it's supposed to warm up and make it more pliable, but I don't know. It looks like it's when I'm rolling it out, it's starting to try to fall apart. Okay, well, we've struggled for, what, 40 minutes maybe-ish? Well, actually, I can see how long this has been going. I thought I could. What, do you, what, do you, what brand do you think the stuff is? I have no idea. I mean, because I wonder, because look how But there's a better thing. brand? I don't know. I don't, because Klutz doesn't yeah. okay. necessarily... All right. Well, is Fimo clay the same thing as Sculpt? Mm, they're similar. They're both oven baked clays. These are not whatever. I mean, you oven bake these, yes, but these are not Fimo because Fimo isn't an eraser. I don't know what's in this. Maybe some latex. If that's the case. They should disclose that because <coughs> some people are allergic to that. I am, yeah, and I'll, it's going to make my hands not break out, but get real itchy. What were we watching where they were talking about itchy palms? Well, that could be almost anything. <laughs> okay, I got the third. Oh, you got the third? <laughs> then why am I wasting my I time on I tried this? to warn you. What color do you want the bowling ball to be? It, uh, it can't. You know, you can mix, mix it like the yeah. blue that we have already yeah. with some green. Green, yeah. We already know <coughs> how bad those how are. Big, no, no, no. How much you had to cut to make the bottom of the bowling pin. I would say about Less than that because you're gonna mix the blue. <coughs> you're gonna mix the blue with it. You want some water or you want your coke? I'm fine. I would say I had higher hopes for this kit. That's a cute idea. It is a really cute idea. I was excited. I'm just disappointed. Because um, I saw how cute like all the stuff they made was, and I thought, oh, I'm an artist. Surely, with instructions, I can follow instructions. You're using red, red and blue. I thought you said no oh, green. I said green. It's okay. Sorry, it's it okay. matter. I'm not. This will make purple in some places. That's okay. Use what you got. I'm not tied to. I know. And this one is more cracky and crumbly. I think. I think the more. How long did this sit outside today, Joseph? Because. Do you know how long the Klutz kit sat outside? The, the clutch, this kit, this one. I think I brought it in. Oh, I think I brought it in yesterday but it wasn't, in the morning. It wasn't outside, that, outside. It wasn't that cold outside. No, not really. It was like in the 60s. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you picked it up. No, I don't need a snack. Yesterday, I believe, but it might no, have been the day before. To, yeah. You want to work that in? Uh, I don't want to make it purple, though. I want to make it like. No, you want to get, maybe put some pieces How in. How do they marble? 
So not that they well. really worked it. Uh, you're not really on camera that well. I'm not. You? I'm trying to show oh, okay. what I'm doing. Okay, I got gotcha. Yeah, your hands aren't on the camera that well. I think either. it needs to be back further, huh? To take uh, it more. Maybe. I think if it needs you want to be, reposition uh, it, out. you just have to push the two buttons on the side. Yeah, I know. Because I'm completely out of shot. That's okay. I thought you didn't want to be in shot. I don't necessarily. Well, you made it a point to put me in shot last time. Yeah. Let's I've been moving can... the camera around. I think the more you work it, Ooh, the sorry. maybe the less crumbly it'll yeah, get. Yeah, it warms up. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Howdy, what do you think of, what do you think these are? Look, this is kind snowmen. of smooth. No. Yeah, what? Snowmen. I it does look right. actually be with, better with snowmen. With scarves around their necks. We could, there's supposed oh, to bowling be bowling pins. pins yeah. Yeah. We picked something easy. Yeah. Or right, so we thought. Easy. No. Didn't know you had to be talented. <laughs> or something. See, I'm rolling this with my hand in the, the if cracks. It came together. Out. Super cute stuff. So I guess what you're going to have to do is like this, okay. maybe. Hang on a sec. I'm trying to head. find I'm, the, I'm holding on it. it. I'm trying to find where they talk about marbling it. Try making marble clay. Start to blend your colors, but don't blend them all the way. Right. Wow, thanks, Clutch. So much information. Well, you know, we're going to end up making the... The rainbow yeah, the marbled stuff. I think that's probably harder than it looks too. Uh, Deceptively difficult. No, because it's just flat and it's, then it's this just is supposed to be naked in an A. That's pretty cute. Yeah. But this, the rainbow, is gonna be, would be a challenge. Seriously. Uh, I don't know Look about how that. thick that is. It's two wraps, so think about how long. And then every stripe is uniform. How many that's hard? How many uh rows? It's one of every color. Yeah, I know, but how many times did they do that? I don't know. I don't know if it's one big long one or... Oh, boy. If well, your finished erasers aren't erasing so well, try baking them again. Oh, that's right. Make them really tough. These are going to fall Where's the one with the, with the stripes? See, that's kind of... Bless you. Bless you. Thank bless you. you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Ice cream. We should have done the ice cream sandwich. That's easier. You Maybe. think? Oh, but you got to make brown. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah, it has to look consistently. And the same thing with the uh, macarons. <sighs> well, we've already used up all the white. That, that's another thing. The white is in like half the projects. Yeah. We used it on three bowling so you get pins. to choose your project. Look you at the white it. cake. That's cute, too. <sighs> look, it's layered. I think it's supposed to be Sonic. That's why it's blue. Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. These are such cute ideas that we can't do because this one, they require dexterity that purple, we don't have. Look, that, that might not be that difficult. Yeah, we thought the bowling pins were going to be not. Well, I didn't say make so it purple. So another thing, though, is I'm not seeing the rainbow stripe. I do see the cacti, which are pretty cute. Look at the road one. These are so cute, but I, I think it. we couldn't do it. Oh, here we go. Rainbow wrap. See, you've got to roll them each into a long, skinny snake. snake and then mush them and then uh -huh. wrap them. Yeah. I think that would be easier, honestly. Maybe. Oh, boy. Because look at this snake. I mean, oh. once you guys start oh. working. They it. also have a clay charms. So we can take the skills we've learned with this <laughs> and make, I mean, Maybe it'll be good. Learned. Fancy erasers usually don't erase. I can them. promise you that this is, is not going to. This is not going to turn purple because mm. we're never going to get. We don't want purple. We want marble. I'm just saying it's not going to. It's not going to mix well enough to make no. purple. The crayons. That's really our speed. Looks like a rock. <laughs> that's. That's right. So, okay. Almost a ball. Look. I would say younger kids. What? Like five, six, seven. This is not a good fit. No. 10, 11, 12, Because they're going to want stuff that looks yeah, like that. Yeah, the older. And they're going to be very disappointed. Yeah. Well, no, you're going to end up doing it for them. Well, even you are not going to be able to do that. Well, no. Well, no. The older, the older kids, maybe, because it requires a lot of patience, well, attention to detail, to manual. Okay. That's almost right. That's good enough. Okay, and then we stab it three times to get all our frustration out. One. To make those finger holes two, right there, right? Three. And then we did write you, 13. Did you put faces on those bullets? No. Pins? 
It shows faces. I know, and they don't tell me when to do it. They don't tell you to do it. I think you it. need to kind of squish. I no, would think, they want you to use the marker. I would think I after you bake it. You think? Yeah. Does it say that? I, I don't know. Let's, let's read the instructions. Let me know if you see faces. Display your cray creations on a paper tray. Lunch is served. <laughs> yeah. No, I now guess they are drawing the faces to be? first. This looks like an ochre. It's yellow ochre, yeah. They could substitute a brown in there instead. Yellow ochre. Look at the red. Color. Look, I'm it's still. It stained your hands. Here's it's not. Alcohol. It's not stained. It's. And here's it's like the, um, clay is on it. Yeah. It's like sticking, some of it is sticking to my hands. I'm seriously not seeing when you're supposed to draw the faces on it, though. Surely somewhere. Go to the back of the... So, I'm like... Let's see this pan. The, Where the, the marbling? Pan? I'm about done with this. Like, I've, I'm annoyed. So, of the two kits... This one or the marbling, which do you think is a better kit for what it's supposed to do? That's a dangerous question. Well, this for the materials kit, that they supplied you with. We ended up needing a bunch of stuff for the marbling. Right. We used just what they had. Plus, but, you know, some baking supplies. We haven't gotten to that yet. No, we haven't. And we don't even know if these will erase. I don't even care. I mean, well, let's go ahead and erasers. We're, I, we're gonna do a couple more. We can always like, draw like, faces. Except we don't have any head. filling for our macarons because we used it all we up. Used all the white. So you go, you go out and get mommy to go out to the store and buy some white if she can find it. Well, I don't know. I don't know if Walmart has this. Do they show any? No, nope, nope. They jump. See, they're showing the face, but they're not. They don't tell you when to do the face or where you do the face. That's. But the only the only hint I got. Is that okay? So they have a what not to do, mm -hmm. and they have the faces on them already, and they look all sad. And they're like, "This is what happens when you don't preheat your oven." I know what were they supposed to be? Was that supposed to be the nail polish? I think Play-Doh is too young for the age range. I what does the box say? Well, Play-Doh, you on. could not use Play-Doh to make an eraser. Give me a sec. Not just that. Because when um, Play-Doh Play dries, it, it, it it's really hard and then it crumbles. Yeah. yeah. It just says zero to three, ages eight and up. I think Play-Doh in the U.S., American Play-Doh, is too babyish for ages eight and up. Frank, like, I really feel that way. Uh, I'm not saying anybody who's eight and playing with Play-Doh is a baby. I'm saying, like, I would no. not buy Play-Doh for an eight-year-old. I would buy Fimo or Sculpey but you could, you or could, you could, if If they're Play-Doh age, you could let them... These are some ideas to think. Yeah, things oh to sure, do. sure. But it's not gonna make erasers. No. It's just cute stuff, which I mean for some of them that's enough. Yeah. Um plasticine clay would be more fun, I think, for some of them. But I mean you're also gonna have the contamination problems with plasticine clay too, where you you contaminate your colors by accident. But it's cheaper. Let's bake those guys. Wait, see what I wanna I wanna except we gotta mix brown. No, we don't. We can use yellow ochre. Okay. No. Let's do the we pencil. We can make Let's the crayons. Do the or we can do the backpack. That looks easy. This doesn't require mixing. No. This is just a crayon, and here's the paper that goes Neither in the Neither do any of these. Okay, let's work on... What? Let's work on crayons and backpacks. Crayons. So let's punch this out first, because it's going to tell us how, how big. big. Okay. So these, these punch out easy. And let's but see how what they... How do you make them stick? And then... Do you do okay, the, yeah, yeah, because it's going to have to wrap like this. Do you do the, the wrapper before you bake it or after? Oh, it should man, say no. that. I would think after, but it should say that. Where does it show the crayon? Right down here. It didn't even tell you how to make them. I guess you bake them first and then put these on. I but think I mean, so. You need and to I think kind you of probably round. can wrap it around the Yeah, the because you need to see how thick those crayons yeah. have to be. 
And then how do you get it to stick? They don't even touch. See? I guess you glue I, them look, on. Look, I'm not just being stupid to be stupid. I'm asking questions that I think this, it's not gonna stick. parents and kids are going to need to know to do these. I mean, when it comes to art kits, you often get an older sibling, maybe a young teenager, 12, 13, doing this with their younger sibling because mom and dad said you got to. You know? So, like, not explaining when you put the wrappers on that's important that's a good idea about wrapping it around though because that at least is mine you get a more got even kind wrap. of like creases in it i can rewrap it or i you can, can do it but i'm just I'm saying i'm gonna put our <laughs> i think the results bowling set in the in the pan in the pan ready to i'm not expecting to fill the pan i just wanted to do more than like two designs because i feel like we're maybe not giving it a fair shot. Okay, and I how know, much? I know everything has a learning curve. Like, you get better the more you do things. How much clay do you think we would need? Because it sticks out a little bit above the top. <laughs> like, they're stumpies is really what, what they are. So, I'm, I'm thinking like this much, huh? Yeah. Like an inch? Yeah, yeah. So, aim for around an inch worth of... So, here's the thing. I'm really bad at gauging amounts so so, I, so I don't think it's yeah because you're gonna have to make this thin and sorry. if you make it thin well we can always take anything left over and stick it back on the on the stick okay so let's just start with here's the rest of your red. uh oh boy bakeable erasers is that a sculpty thing this the kit we're doing today is a kit from klutz K-L-U-T-Z. Um, I don't know if it's sold in other countries, but it, it's owned by Scholastic now, which sell, makes children's books. And they've been doing kit books for decades. Like, I used to do Klutz kit books when I was a kid. Um, yeah, I used to make bracelets. Yeah. And they used to teach you how to do it. I learned how to do hacky sacks hacky and, sacks and juggling. I had a juggling yeah. book. Um, I'm just not coordinated enough for juggling. Uh, she did practice. I did practice. That was the summer I was... Riding a unicycle, learning to play the organ and harmonica and ukulele. And I could do some of those. Well, the thing about playing a musical instrument is if you can read music, that's going to make a world of difference. Because yeah. the rest is just practice. See, this is cracking on the inside. Same Look at here. that. Look. Yeah. It looks cool and gross. I mean, an eraser would do that. Yeah. <laughs> As it rotted. But it's not even baked yet. Nope. You know what? I'm going to try. Good old elbow grease? You no, know, just doing it on here. Because that seemed to have some... Oh, man, look. Yeah, it's oh, far apart. Part. Let me see if the camera even, even got that. Yeah, not it really. Back together. Okay, there we go. And I'm not really being rough with it. Um, I don't actually know. I, I don't know if Sculpey makes er, erasable clay in the U.S. I've seen erasable clay oh, look. for sale. Uh, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a crayon with this. This is too messy, too messy and PC. Can't even get the pieces it falls back apart. together. Yeah. <sighs> so with this kit, you You're would lucky. really need somebody with patience. Well, like a parent who's constantly encouraging you, like, oh, just keep giving it time. I mean, our bowling ball finally <laughs> came together. You'll never get good at things if you don't give uh, them enough time. Maybe like this is um. Start like that and getting it. That that helps some. It makes it softer. It's, I think warming it up. We, uh, yeah, we're literally struggling like to this. make crayons. Like this. Oh, I'm Try holding it, like it in this. my hands. Well, to maybe. Warm it and then rolling it. And then, then going like this. And that's kind of. It's got all those colors mixed in it. All that red Great. is so that left on my ah. eye. I need a poop. It's a realistic <laughs> one. just tied the big back. Well, I was going to make a snake and then cut it and Let's then see. make a comb. Will my wrapper go around this? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I'm you made a cat poop. But it's too big, You made see? an oil pastel. So I need out. to make, make it thinner. Does it loosen up? Yeah, it loosens up a little bit, but it's still like really prone to crumbling and Well, it's not cracking. crumbling as much now. 
Okay, let's try this. I lied to you. So I took two sculpture classes in grad school. I took one where I made maquettes, which is like figurines of people for your comics. And I took one where I did an ecrochet, which is where you basically draw a flayed or create a flayed man. So you're sculpting all the muscles in clay. A flayed? Flayed, like... Rip the skin off. Yeah, because you're sculpting the muscles. Yeah. Um, and I used... I forget the brand. It was so expensive, and I hated it. I hated it. It wanted to, yeah, it wanted to melt because it was in the middle of summer, and I ended up just yeah, giving all of it to the next student taking the class after me. I was like, good luck. It's just starting to crack, even with it coming more together. So, I do have a little clay experience. I just hate it. What? She just lied about I it. I forgot about it because I hated it. Okay. So, that's about how big, I also right? don't think Look. this. That's sure, about and then you can cut it off. And then you cut it off, so I'll cut it off. So I am kind of familiar with traditional clay. This is not traditional clay. And we're also following what the book says. And the reason for that is this is a kit review and demonstration. So um, I want a parent or a kid who's watching this or someone who might be buying this kit for a loved one to get an honest review of the kit. Not just like me, an artist who knows all these different tricks Good for working idea. with the material to like force it into submission. Okay, that's that's kind of like a point. And I have to say, of the Klutz books, so, I've... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hey! <laughs> Never dries. Um, Look, I can't put that with the rest. It's no, ugly. it's nasty. It's, I mean, it's clean. I'm kind of clean on the inside, but... Oh, let's go to sleep. So you're going to have to measure it with the paper to make sure that, and we haven't even started with the blue yet. Mm -hmm. I'll take my piece that I already started working with. Uh, maybe I should wipe this off. Okay, this is a bit of a long crayon, but, but it's cut off the, the right end. length, like yeah, cut off the right end. width. Because the end is flat over here. Yeah, I see that. And then I and I cut it off a little, this much over the and edge. And this is a long crayon. So my younger brother is the one who's really much more into sculpture. He's also the one who does Gundam models and stuff. Yeah. I definitely think. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's for the backpack. Oh, that's the backpack. But yeah, also they don't even give you instructions for that. But those. that's what they're saying. You can use some of those instructions to make crayons. Okay, so I'm, I'm stacking our missiles, cat poops, crayons. Without the wrappers. There we go. Yeah, because it doesn't even say whether or not you should. Okay, like this, like this. Is, is, uh. I'm going to make a red backpack while um, you make the blue, the blue crayon. I might not have enough, though, so I might do different color straps. We have to wipe this off. They also don't give you a size of scale. Like, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this or like this. Yeah. I just don't know. So it probably helps to wipe off the spatula. With rubbing alcohol. Well, between colors. Even without rubbing alcohol, you can wipe. Yeah. You can wipe it off, but... Anyway, I hope these, I mean, I enjoy doing these streams with you. It's yes. fun doing these kits, but I also hope these are helpful for someone looking to buy. Yeah. I mean Looking that. Looking to stay away from. Well, or like with the Marble Pour mm -hmm. kit, oh, hey, that's actually not a bad idea. This is very small. Would help there I might not be enough red. Clean my hand. I'll just put that back, sorry, and then clean my well, hand. Well, make, oh, you can't because you got the wrapper that says it must be red. I made the crayon. I know, but I'm just saying. It's got a wrapper that tells you what color it has to be. I think the, the general consensus is that regardless, you have to warm it up. Maybe start off by rolling it in a ball first to warm it up. Because it does crumble apart. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to use all of the color. I don't know. <laughs> For what? I'm so sorry. For the backpack? Yeah. It's a big ball. I need Look. to drink some water. And you have to do a zipper. No. It yes. says zipper. Nah. And pockets. Nah. Oh, 
Oh, it's starting to crack. The only good, the only good blue is on the inside. Whew. And it's still kind of sticking to my hand. See? Yeah. I don't, I don't get that. Show the camera through like that. Yeah. See, one of my big complaints about this kit is the instructions are very minimal. They don't tell you, like, they're just like, you can just stick two pieces together. It'll stick. And it'll look like this. Yeah, right? Except it doesn't want to stick. Yeah. And yeah, someone mentioned oh, like that earlier. So like with the, the yeah, eraser. Yeah, you can just, you can use water with regular clay to get it to stick. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. with this, I don't know what this is made of. They're not telling me. Yeah. I don't know if water would do it, if rubbing alcohol would do it. And again, I'm trying to follow what the kit suggests because that's what any person working yeah. from home oh this boy is, got all over your hands that's what i'm saying it keeps sticking to my hands i don't know if it's because my hands are too dry because i've washed them several times today because of covid yep okay just jam it together <laughs> and look there's the point it really looks mm -hmm. like a poop <laughs> <laughs> this isn't i don't think this is skinny enough your yellow one over there looks like a bullet. Yeah. That's your yellow one, right? Or did you do yeah. the red one? Well, maybe I did do I don't the yellow. Remember. I think I did the yellow, yeah. <laughs> I called okay. them missiles. Yeah, a see, this ago. is too fat. This is too skinny. Get back down here, boy. Huh. That's disappointing. Well, you know. At least we started with something successful. Yeah. Like the... I didn't think that kit would be that good. What? The Marbling? first one. Yeah. I was like, this would be terrible. And it was all right. We had fun with that one. This one, I mean, I'm having fun, but it's... It's because we're playing. That's a and I can still make this skinnier. But basically, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm never going to get this backpack. because <laughs> the backpack with wrinkles in it. Okay, here's a... Yeah, you see, this one's going to bake, and because it's got it's all the cracks all on the inside, the first time you use it is an eraser, oh. it's going to crumble. Oh, believe me, I'm not using these as an eraser. <laughs> but I know you said we're going to try it out. We are going to try it out next week, but that doesn't mean I have any expectations for this. Mm. Mm. Is that that, that high-octane... Alcohol yeah, that the you 90, wanted that. Ninety percent. Is this like rubbing alcohol? Is it is rubbing it is? alcohol. Well, they're all it's rubbing. It's just pure. 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 So it will dry out your hands. You want to oh, moisturize your hands. Well, my hands are already starting to dry out for the season from from the cold and also from all the washing. Mm -hmm. So I just have to double up on the aloe. I, I used force to stick the eraser material together, and it didn't do such a great job. But that is what the book is recommending. Force. Force. The force, force? be with you. Yeah. Force it? Oh, I'm thinking Freddie Farkas. Frontier Pharmacist. Okay. Sure. Anyway, and as far as the paint last year, uh, last time of getting the paint on the hands. Wasn't that bad? It came I, I took a shower that night, and it was gone. Yeah. So it's not permanent stain. Okay, this is, this is the start of my backpack. It took, as long as it took you to make the blue crayon, it took me to... But you're not making everything purple. I'm making the base and the straps purple, and then I was going to use green and maybe some of the Good blue. Good luck on those straps. Look how fat that is. Yeah. Uh, See, like that. Almost have to flatten them out. Maybe it fuses when you bake it. You have to have more sculpting ability with that stuff. I mean, it has to it be. It might fuse when you bake it. It needs to be more flexible. You know, I could see you can be able to do this with regular modeling clay. It just never gets, yeah, it never gets flexible. That enough. never gets flexible enough to be able to do something like that. With and it. even even a gum eraser like this is has more way more flexible, yeah. Let me get some blue on it. No. You just want to play with that. No. Let's see, this is hard. It's cold. you okay. got to warm it up. Oh, don't talk about that. Oh. We well, must warm up with hands. Ooh, we were going to do the loom. 
And we thought the loom kit might be too complicated. Well, it was also running late, and yeah. that was something we wanted to definitely give more time to. Yeah. So we thought this was going to be, oh, this is going to be easy. I did think it was going to be fairly easy. This this isn't going to take long at all. No. We can do no. this. Well, it's a kit aimed at eight-year-old children. They're all aimed at eight-year-old children, clearly, Jacka. no, no, the loom is aimed at adults. Okay. Clearly more not the Not the round one, but the plastic. I mean, yeah, it's they got sell them for too. I've had, I had, um... A clover knitter yeah. and it would just make tubes of knitting which I don't know what that was for creative I guess. It created that yeah real creative you I can make, make a, a big out of make it. A garland I did actually one year I had a lot of Christmas lights yeah something with a lot of lights on it that had a hundred and it went nowhere yeah well once you start winding it it's like basically and you want the red huh no, I have multicolor. Looks like they're red. No, they're multicolor. I'll turn it on in a minute. Oh, okay. I see greenish or bluish right there. The point of a white <laughs> tree is it, you can... It does... It's a lot fuller than... That was all... I I, I <clears throat> fold it. I spent a lot of time... I know, time. but you have to have the branches to do that. And if you don't, it doesn't matter how much manipulation. It still looks like it's empty. Man, these straps just... How did you do this? What? The person who made this, like, how did you get it not all, not all Because these are kind of flat, too. I know, well, I'm So flat after you get your little snake, then you have to kind yeah. of flatten it out. And then they curled it under itself. Mm -hmm. Look, kudos to you. Like, like, uh. Person who oh. did this because, oh, it's going to break. That's what's mm -hmm. going to happen is it's going to break. It'll have to be the, the backpack that doesn't have straps. It broke. Yeah. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Just it doesn't even look like a backpack anymore. <sighs> Patience. Patience. Yeah, because an eight-year-old who got this kit for Christmas. Mom, maybe we should have made the pizza, huh? Because the box is cute anyway. Uh, and this is a klutz box. Uh, I kick turbo red mm, made in New York City, New York. <clears throat> I still would want to do a making comments kit for Klutz, though. If you hear me, Klutz, I'm a professional comic After artist with this. an MFA in comics from SCAD. Please hire me. After this, and seeing what you did, yeah, they're, they're not going to want to. Kid, they're going to say, "Oh no, not I her." Mm -hmm. Well, they can check out my blog. The for, colors are vibrant, though. Proof, you know, we didn't even that I am the capable. To make the, a lump of coal out of the black. Could make, make a lump of coal. Just mix all the colors together. If you mix all the colors together, it should be white. Ooh. No. Yeah. No. When you mix colors together with light, then it makes white. But when you mix colors together with pigments, then it just gets darker and basically oh, turns okay. to like. Because that's not what we were always told. No, we, we were taught colors on a color wheel. We were taught color spin that thing wrong. Fast. There's there's two different types of color. I think you can buy the crayon <gasps> erasers. So just I know I used buy to, the crayon yeah. erasers. I'm getting Don't all try kinds to make of them. suggestions in the chat, which I appreciate. But I'm following the kit the way the kit says to, because that's part of the review. You're the last man on the boat, huh? On the Titanic here, you're the. The person that stayed you know, on last to I, show a, off the I lights. don't have any baby oil. B, it would probably baby affect, oil. Yeah, someone's suggesting baby oil to soften the clay. It might work, but it's probably going to affect much, the bacon. How much of the clay is that clay, though? I think this clay. And I think the baby oil would put bubbles. Could, yeah. You would have to really maybe. mix it to get an yeah, even well, suspension. As, as not easy as this is working out, I think it would be uh, yeah. kind of hard to get it to be consistently dispersed within the clay. I mean, the thing is, if I knew for a fact that X, Y, Z give me the result I want I would do it and just say hey I did this the book is there happen. a troubleshooting section good luck find it okay. okay this is my stupid little zipper there's credit oh look there's even clay charms oh yeah. look I had just so case. much fun with this kit I can't wait to hate myself now here's again. the window art we could try a kit like that look 
I know. You make these but things the thing and is, you're just your you're just you're just coloring in their existing designs. Like you can or buy can make your cheap own. at Dollar Tree, probably. No. Okay, no. that's the zipper. That's a hefty little chonker. Oh, this is even look, the car's cute. Tattoos. I know. That's, that's what's ball, so ball, annoying. Ball. It's some of the X, and this part is just like danger zone. Flat. Danger zone. <laughs> Yeah, look. Huh? 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Where's all the, where's the rim, huh? There, uh, there it is. Oh, look how perfect it looks. So cute. Look, you didn't make a, a mustache. Make a mustache. We should have done that. That's really that's easy. easy. That's our speed. Under my nails. Yeah, it's going to be under your nails for a while. I quit cleaning my hands in between, so now I've got like black all in the blue. I don't see a trouble shooting section. I don't care anymore. Look. Some of these are so complicated, complicated and cute, but Look, like, I like you, were, you were saying how cute. Right, the road is the so road, cute. The car on the, the road. road. Yeah. And even the little lines down the road. Somebody, yeah. yeah. Scissors, I'll tell you. Oh, man. They also don't say how thin this has to be, so this is, like, not thin enough, really. Or the, or the fish that's eating the pencil. <sighs> Look at those teeth. I can't even How do you get say. that? How do you get that without crumbling? Well, I don't own any baby oil, so oh, I cannot and the add. Oh, parrot's not complicated. Very cute. Or, yeah. Or the, or the Those lines. designs are super cute. Too bad they are. This the clay is difficult to use, and it doesn't want to stick. Or this. And they don't really provide enough instructions for how to get it to do anything. Oh, look at that. I mean, somebody's a genius. I wish they would have shared their expertise. Look at a dog. You can make it look like your dog. Yeah, good how cute luck. That is. But I don't think good I luck. can work this stuff. I was just worried about. <laughs> good luck getting them all even yeah. for the cakey. Oh, you'll have to. You'd have to cut them with a knife. You'd have to layer them and then cut them with a knife. Like my backpack does not really look. Rolling pin is an idea. Oh, sure. the hamburger. Sure. Look okay. Up. All right. Let me use the pencil. Hang on. Pin. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Look at the pizza. Hang on, just give me a sec. I don't bake, and I don't make pasta. So I do not have a rolling pin or a but pasta But you can machine. use anything but, to alert as But that pin. is a really good idea, especially if you, but the other thing about this is they look, say, look, hang on, look. they say anything you've used with this clay, you cannot use it to eat with. So um, no, but look, you can't reuse this foil. So if you were to use a rolling pin, you'd have to cover it in something. Hang on. Or if you use a pasta machine, you would have to clean it out so well. I know, I know. They're, we did that earlier. They're suggesting remember? using the the pencil to. I know out to the make tubes. the sushi. Good luck. We did that earlier when we were doing the the, the first. I one. didn't do that. I didn't do that. The pencil. I did. I used it. Need it. I'm sorry if I sound angry. I'm not angry. I'm not angry. She's very angry. I'm well. I'm frustrated with this kid. They should provide more information. I don't see anything on troubleshooting. Just use the pencil. Yeah, we did use the pencil earlier. Can you use the pencil again now? Try it on All my right, black piece right there. That's the that's the the backpack. Yeah, and look, if you're making fruit and food, I know, uh, I know. it's not going to work. I know, I know, I know. Let me angle it down for y'all. Another thing is, my work surface is filthy. Spell Sorry. out your name. <laughs> sure, sure. Let's do the the circles of the faces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's hard. I'm not pretending. And you could use a cookie cutter to get those perfect circles. I mean, there are ways you can make this kit work. If you could get a good ball, then you could just oh, mash. Oh, well, see, like you this. already have that. Like this. Try it with Hang this Hang on. One. I'm cleaning my workspace. If you already have a pasta machine for clay, that's fine. But, like, I'm not going to go out and spend $20 or troll Goodwill to Besides, try and find a pasta this is a machine. child's kit. Yeah. You don't, you're not supposed to have to use stuff like right. that. Right, that's my big complaint, is like you, you shouldn't have to. If she wants to look like a, a professional, maybe. She that, honestly, sell them. that's probably what some of, what the people in this book are actually using. I can't imagine using. putting this in a pasta machine. No, people do use pasta machines to get clay really, really thin, right. like some of those clay. Floors. Clay. This doesn't this is, really feel this like This is not clay. clay. No, it's weird. It doesn't even smell like clay. No, Tali, you're right. This is not a fun kit. Which, when I bought it, I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. Because the, the sticks already look like they could be erasers. Bake it 
as a stick, and then you got a good eraser. Done. No, yeah. I wouldn't call it a good But eraser. when you start manipulating it, you then it cracks. You know, oh, I ruined the yellow. Apart. So, you know, um, if you wanted to do an eraser art activity with more success, no joke, um, that white vinyl that erasers are made out of, you can carve that and make stamps out of it. Okay. That is a more fun, in my opinion, eraser activity than this currently. I'm going to try. Oh, we might regret it this. Clean it up. Uh, yeah, let me clean it up. I myself. think it is rubbing alcohol sensitive. It is causing some frustration. Oh, it's cracking up. Look, it's cracking. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, oh, well, at that point, just buy an eraser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole point is to have something this to do with your child. The thing you made, yeah. Yeah. Something together. <laughs> but your frustration makes you so angry that, I'm you know, not, it's not good for your child. Yeah, I'm not, It like, is PTSD for I, participating. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, like, I, like, I'm, when we're done with this, I'm going to walk away and be good. Like, be happy. I know. Um, uh, so it's not like that Just frustration. No, I want to do the yellow. I want to do the yellow smiley face because I want to do it. Okay, I'm okay. going to mash this out. Let's see who can make a flat cookie shape. Yeah, well. See, mine's almost there. Yeah. Except it's cracked. Okay, away. we're going to use the cracks around the edges. As our rolling pin. Another problem, and this is a me problem, not a clutch problem. Oh, we're getting a lot of cracking. Is the oh, the parchment work. paper wants to just shift all over the place? I mean the, the wax paper. Yeah, wax paper. And then you gotta get to that's a me problem, edges. not a not a this kit problem since they didn't include. And if you smooth them too much, then they start Ooh. coming apart. It got all dirty what? on the bottom, even though I tried to clean my work surface. Okay, mine's prettier than yours. That was a ball. But but the edges and are you know spongy. they also do sell clay working tools. You can go yeah, no. to any art supply store. I'm sure you have something and get up clay. There. I don't want to. No no please no <laughs> because I don't want to ruin my cricket? paper making stuff yeah. with clay stuff. Okay so there's your there's your cookie. Cake. There's my but cookie. But it sure is thick. <laughs> it's a cookie. But it's got to be somewhat thick to be an eraser. Uh, and you could use a cookie cutter, and honestly, you would get way better shapes with this because it's going to cut right through it. But how are you, you going to get, get these flowers? Valentine eyes. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. That's Becca after she's made the cookie. I'm so sad got... right now. They do tell you how to make hearts. You make you make a, a ball, and then you give the ball a butt. And then you flatten out the ball and magic part. And look at the adorable Look at the tool back and forth. <sighs> it's it just you can't even need it without it breaking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't. I this was supposed to be a chill stream. Like you chill out. I was stressed and out before. Made the thing. It's been a day. Yeah. I'm totally stressed out now. Are you I really? Say, I'm so sorry. Best, just bake. It feels like such a waste. It's, it they, doesn't even smell they like don't clay. They smell like clay. No, they smell weird. Like chemicals? Too, I think instruction books like that are a little too aspirational, too unrealistic. More to be looked at and admired than followed. I no. can agree with that because but it's normally, lots of cute pictures and no instructions. But normally Clutch is does a good a job. Book. At least of the ones I've done. I did the embroidery kit one as a kid. I did the friendship bracelet one. I did a beading, like a loom beading yeah. one. I did a happy sack one. Every time we went to a certain store, you'd be looking on the Michael's. rack. Michael's. It was Michael's. Looking at the rack to find the Clutch yeah. books to see which one so, you didn't have. Other Clutch books in my experience, which is not the end all be all. I mean, I've only done like four. But as a child, you used them. No, I know. And this one's one of the worst ones. And it's full of great pictures. I agree with you. And some of these techniques might work with clay, frankly. I would be not willing to clay. try it with clay. Yeah. This stuff. But I also know more about working with polymer clay than I know about working with this. That's not polymer clay? I don't think so. They're not, they are not very forthcoming about, they just say it's gluten free, which is, you know, great. Give me some gluten. Well, you don't want to absorb it in I your know. hands. We'll but some gloves. the thing is, I'm concerned, is I have a latex, I'm trying to, um, I have a latex allergy. I don't think it does because like when I'm using uh Okay, that's almost round. Don't mess with it. 
When I'm using masking fluid, I do start to have a, a slight allergic reaction, mm -hmm. so I gotta go wash my You're hands. not gonna be able to smooth those edges. I'm just tried. gonna cut that excess. Uh, good luck on that. Let's be a circle. I'm trying. <laughs> Even if you get, cause, cause I tried it, it just rolls off. It just flakes off. <sighs> Cookie cutter would be handy for this. Oh, that's circular. <laughs> I can't do kids. My mom is too. But I guess you're gonna me. have to do that, cause if you try to just smash it mm -hmm. and smooth it, it flakes off. Mm -hmm. If you have a, I do not have a Daiso, unfortunately. I love Daiso. Daiso is like a Japanese dollar tree kind of thing. It's like a hundred yen store. Although some of the stuff they sell there is like. What is it? It's like a dollar tree. Oh, okay. Or five below is really what it's more like. Cause you do get five dollar ish items. We don't have a Daiso. I wish we had a Daiso. The nearest yeah. Yeah, Daiso Louisiana. is in Texas. Oh, in there's one Austin. in Texas. Yeah. And what kind of things do they sell? Cute art kits, washi tape, stationery. Do they sell the kits mm -hmm. at David's? David's they art have, supply? Do they have little kits? They do, but those are art supply kits and... They don't have things like this? Because they, they, they've gotten more crap stuff They're taking me in into dangerous territory. Cause uh, I love David's, but they're kind of expensive for this kind of stuff. So I... And I'm like, I'm not making money off these streams. I know, but I'm trying to I'm think spending of... spending money you on know, these streams. You know, but if you're going to spend... How much did this cost? This kit? I think it was $13. $13 and the, the... Whatever this is, it's not clay. Whatever this is doesn't work like clay or is not easy to work with. I could go to then, Walmart and get... Then and all if, clay, if it costs you two more dollars to get something... No, because you got to buy every color, and they every color is charged separately. Not every color. You don't have to buy every color ever, but you got to get like some colors. You know, mm -hmm. like you could go to Michaels and maybe get a the female or something. Yeah, Fimo or Sculpey. Can you bake that? Yeah, you're supposed to bake it. Is it like erasable? No, eraser it's stuff? not. But this eraser stuff, S U C K S, this is awful. Say that again. This is terrible. Like, it's not what is that fun. Supposed to be a smile? It's a smile. It's okay. okay. All right, all right. It I doesn't know, represent my true feelings at like this moment. But you, you need it to flatten it before you put it on here. Yeah, well, then it breaks. No, you just mash it and it flattens it. If I mash it, we're, we're in a different danger zone. <sighs> yeah. Right. But yeah, no, there Take are, the there are Daisos in the U.S., most of them are on the West Coast in California. Some of them are in Canada. I think Toronto has a Daiso. Well, that's a good idea. I don't think I during COVID nineteen you need to take a trip. To Daiso, Canada. no. But I love Daiso. I wish if there was one near her, I would say we have to go to. I'd be spending a lot of time at Daiso. I love Daiso. Well, it's probably good for us that it's not there. Yes, isn't. probably because you I already have, have, have a problem addiction. with five below. Yeah. So you ordered this online from mm -hmm. where? From Walmart.com. Because mm -hmm. I haven't seen them at the Luling Walmart, which is the Walmart in our local area. It's a more rural Walmart, so it's not like one of the big ones. It doesn't we could go to one of the big ones. We could, yeah. The one, in the, the one in Bridge City is bigger. The one in Thibodeau has got stuff that ours doesn't You've have. You've never seen? Like people keep telling me like, oh, I see, I saw alcohol markers at Walmart, and I finally saw them at the Luling Walmart. Well, then like we could go to one in Metairie. That's a big one. Or the one in Bridge City. That's a bigger one than this, not the one we have. I think ours is trying to get better. I think it, it, it is. We, we, um, they have a book section again now. We organized everything, and they've redone the floors, and they moved everything around, so yeah. it's going to take us forever to get out because we don't know where everything is. But I've, I've noticed some things that I've never seen before. Oh, look at you. Now, use it as an eraser. Bake <laughs> it first. Bake that baby. Um, I'm not like just dumping. The thing about Walmart is different Walmarts will carry whatever the people in that area are buying. Yeah. So I'm not dumping on our Walmart because no. that's what people are buying. Did you take some of my red I off? I did. I, I oh, you messed with my red circle. Cookie. See, that could have made this one. The angry face. The angry face. The frustrated face. 
I mean, peel you face. And what are you doing to that? I Where, which one is that? I made it up because I don't have any of the parts for it, and I really don't feel like doing the heart size. This clay is you not. You could do that no, with that. No, I know I'm I sure could. I don't want to. It's not an emotion I express. Neither is this, though, frankly. This is not the emotion no. I express about this clay. Okay, we can bake this. Give yeah. me one second. Hey, did you set the oven to 260 or 250? Oh, because the book says 250. You said that? Um, I read that. Where is that? Give me a second. Um, it's at the front of the book. There we go. Just give it a little time to kind of cool down. So, you should have stuck with the football. What we're going to do. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Charlie Brown can just yank it away. What we're going to do is we're going to bake these. I'll check in next week with how these turned out. We'll put those to the test next week. We should have started with the simple, just plain old pencil topper. I'm dumb because I got like, I get aspirational. <laughs> As pointed out in the stream, aspirational crafting. The macarons would have been doable. They're also suggesting that you either mash it with your finger or use the spatula. Which we did. To mash. Which we did. Okay, so. Um, there are, I have the rock painting kit. I have, which I just oh, do you not feel do like tonight? doing. No, next time. Next week. Well, maybe oh, next week. Actually, week I want to do the gingerbread. Okay. It's just assembling. It's not baking. Because okay. I don't bake. Yeah, because we saw She doesn't like, bake so much either. Um, and it's not, it's not about the baking. It's baking about you have that stuff around and you have to so, eat it. Well, still going to have it around. Baking gingerbread is so precise. You basically need, these days, I mean, I'm sure there's That's, people with old baking skills, but you need, like, the forms the, yeah. to bake it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't have any of that. Well, it has to be stiffer yeah, than just gingerbread. conventional gingerbread. Because yeah. it has to be, like, construction quality. Yeah. So I bought a couple of kits. I have the Five Below kit, and then in case that one's broken, I got one at Walmart. I mean, I'm hoping between the two kits we can do something with it. Maybe. I definitely want to do this before Christmas. I don't see what. Oh, 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 oh. the dirty. Oh no, Your that's from using it. Gray spot. That's from using it. it. Oh, do you want? Make do it. you want to just bake what's left? Like scraps? I'm not. I'm not gonna. That's the other thing. I don't know. When I was young, I had a lot of patience. And as an adult, like more than I have now for this kind of stuff, I had a lot of patience yeah. for this. And I don't have it. Does it say how long we're supposed to bake it either, it. by the way? I'm sure. Because I don't know. Where we saw it somewhere. Not longer than 30 minutes and not in a toaster oven. But I don't remember. In a toaster oven. Well, that's what some it's people said not have. a microwave. You can't microwave <laughs> it. <laughs> I appreciate your salute. These, these, this is fun. Like, even when it doesn't go well, it's fun. But I don't have a child. I'm not doing this with my child. I don't have to deal with my kid having a meltdown because it's not working it's right. Not, it's not fun. Or it's it's not hard. working right. It's too hard. So, um, in a way, I'm in a great position to review these kits because it's not like I have, like, a crying seven-year-old. And, and if you're in the background thinking, like, what seven-year-old would cry about that? I would have yeah, cried yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or just walked away. I, I would have like, come back. No, I would have been like, yeah, I would have gotten so mad at it that yeah. I would have like smashed it or cried because I, I have ADHD and I have, as a kid, I had impulse control issues, and that's one of the things I'm thinking about when I'm reviewing these kids because these kind of kids can be great for children with learning differences and learning disabilities. It can okay, be baking, two hundred sixty. Erasers will score and burn at temperatures higher, higher than, than 250. I, but see, over here it says 250. Okay. Preheat the oven to all 250. Right, all, right, all right, Just can't go higher than 250. But where's the time for it? Uh, oh, up to 30 minutes. Oh, goodness. Watch, Watch erasers, erasers carefully. carefully. Some ovens will okay. bake erasers oh, clean as little as five baked. minutes. Oh, if you start to see Droop them drooping, or melt. that would be those crayons over there. They really would. Take them out right away. So you can't eat. When you take your racers out of the oven, they will still look doughy and unbaked. That's okay. 
So they have to cool, cool for, for an, an hour. hour. That's another oh, thing about this. You must be twins or That's something. That's another thing about this kit. And the last one, frankly. Do not touch, poke, or is, prod. Is this... This requires a lot of patience yeah. that some kids don't have. I didn't have that kind of patience. So, like, in that regard, the friendship bracelet kit is better because, yeah, you're putting that time in, but when it's done, it's done. But not just that. Is if you have to stop in the middle of it, like the friendship bracelet, you could pick it. You might have to go back and reread your directions, yeah. but you can pick it up in the middle. Yeah, you don't it's have to, like, like wrap it up or, or anything. It's gonna, it's going to fail because yeah. you waited too long or whatever. Yeah. Or it got cold. I mean, who cares yeah. if, your, if your embroidery thread gets cold? But see, I think in theory these kind of kids can be great for kids with learning differences or learning disabilities. Or even kids with emotional disabilities to practice patience and to build self-esteem. I'm serious though. I know, but, but this one ain't it. This one ain't it. I'm thinking like that friendship bracelet yeah. kit from a, or a loom kit. Yeah, or the know? thing with the, they, they have kits with rubber bands. They you do, make the, the, rainbow, the rainbow loom. I'm, or the ones with the rhinestone. I'm, not, the doing, I'm not doing the rainbow loom. Mm -hmm. But I might do the rhinestone kit because mm -hmm. they make they have the bracelet ones that mm -hmm. are pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. Just to see, I mean, Simple, it requires a lot of patience. But for some people, they just do that and zone out. Mm. You know, they so, don't mind how long it takes. Clutch says they have super clear instructions. No, they have open ended creativity. Yeah, which that's I true. Feel that. Hands on learning, that's for, for sure. sure. Skills to build on. Yeah, because I feel like you could take the basic instructions for assembling these things and use it with other types of clay and everything you need well i guess mostly yeah i guess yeah mostly if you aren't totally satisfied with this product let us know i don't want another they want to exchange it for another i don't want another uh, you could ask them if they have something that you know maybe they can give you a choice of something that she thinks is more realistic <laughs> What's that look for? I feel I would feel guilty. Like Why? if I had a kid and we tried to do this kid, we did this with two my adults, kid Becca. had the same frustrations. I would have no problem contacting Clutch and being like, "My child, this is how we're going to solve the problem." This. Yeah, it's a, it's a teachable moment. But too. as an adult, I feel kind of guilty being like, "Clutch, I really didn't like this kid. I had all these problems with it." And Send we were me a, another. We I have no were problem adults. giving them my feedback so they can decide from there. Well, you can also give them your web address of the, you know, yeah, whatever, send them the video, the video, and see some of the problems that we had. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is pliable. Feel this. I, I know. How that one, this is it. This is real soft now, and it's not cracking. How long does this it's, stuff it take sat to right warm there, up? Though. It just sat. Yeah. Is that? What I was it just takes? picking up pieces. This, this, this house like is this. warm. Like I'm wearing a t-shirt. Like, this house is warm. This is not, we're not working in like. You can't, it's degrees. hard to work with the bigger pieces. See, even this is cracking yeah. along the edges. But what but is they that? Don't say this that. isn't. This isn't they cracking along the edges. They don't say the bigger pieces are going to be more challenging to work with. This is a little skinny one. Oh. And you could turn this into a, a poop. Uh, an eye. Like, because, like, let's be eye. real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Once they yeah, get frustrated, they they're going to make a bunch of poops. Because you just do, 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 do and then but you this, this was easier to manipulate. Look, look, a dot. I know. That's what I wish. I could have dealt with that. This is, and I bet it would stick to itself. Yeah. And the other stuff wasn't doing it. So I don't know. So maybe it was the black. Sometimes when you different use different colors. colors. Yeah. I know that's with different. fabric and stuff like that sometimes. Yeah, and or yarns. All kinds of stuff. Okay. Well, let's put this yes. back in. All right, what guys. What do you do with the, the, the chunks that are left over? I'm, I'm going to throw you... all of this in the garbage. Okay. No, I meant all of the, like, I mean, we need to set these aside. And I'm going to put right. that in the oven. You need to so, wrap those. Um, what about this? No, I'm not wrapping it. I'm baking those. You No, I'm talking it, about man. and use those to wrap around oh, wrap the wrap things, yeah. So, what I'm going to do I this piece is... of purple right here. See, this piece of purple is not that easy to manipulate. Right Would now. you follow me into I the kitchen? I know. I don't know. I, I don't know what's up it. with this stuff. And it doesn't crack. So we're going to bake the ones we made. And I'm also going to bake 
some of these. <laughs> just no, I'm serious. The sticks. The sticks. Because they're gonna make racers. To see how well they erase. I don't think they're gonna be fun at all to erase with. I think they're gonna be. And you want to follow me and do what? Sure. We're gonna go into the kitchen. And we're gonna put them in the oven. I see your your thing fell over already. Oh, they're all falling over. Oh, does that matter? I don't know. It did not really say, which is it says great. Some of them may look like they're going to droop. Yeah, that's going to be all of them. So it said we got to watch them. No, oh, some of them might bake in as little as five minutes and no longer than 30 you have minutes. A light on I here do. That we could see through the glass? Oh, no. There's no seeing through that nasty I glass. I do have some oven cleaner that you could use. Yeah, that to, that's a shame. This is a self cleaning oven, too, huh? I don't know. Maybe. Parboil. All right. Anyway, guys, that is it. It should for, this has got a lock on it. That's it for this stream. Uh, I'm sorry that it was both late and we switched topics. Life happened this week in a big way. So, um, anyway, yeah, I yeah. actually. Yeah, you got a self cleaning oven. That can all turn to ash on the inside. Great. Um, are we going to turn the erasers to ash? No, no, no. I'm talking about. When you take that out, then you can clean now, your oven. Now, something I thought might be fun is to bake sugar cookies and decorate them. Maybe. Maybe, because it's like sugar cookies are easy. Yeah, we've got that that meringue kit, too. That's from last year. I don't care. It might still be good. I, we can try it. It's never been opened. It's we can sealed. try it. Anyway, I don't yet know which kit we're going to do next year. Next, next year. Week. Next week, because it kind of depends Maybe on what's week. going on with the family emergency. Yeah. Um, but I could just turn the camera around, I think, and that way you guys can actually see my face. But uh, we'll have something next week. I'm Becca. This is my mom. Thank you for guests. When last year's meringue it, we might, it might be last year's meringue it really might be I'm kind of hoping to do the gingerbread kits because I want to do them before Christmas yes oh, you, just, you talked about that yeah so, yeah, so maybe the so. gingerbread kits anyway hopefully I'll see you guys on Monday and I have something coming up on Friday that I have to decide which art workshop live stream I'm going to do but keep an eye on the community tab for that I'll see you guys again soon bye, bye guys thank you oh. Okie dokie. I, I don't know what's wrong with Bowie. Check to see.